Good afternoon, designers, and welcome to this week's episode of Game of Rugs. It is a beautiful day in my neighborhood. It finally stopped raining after a week. My second vaccine is scheduled for tomorrow, and Moira was so excited about taking it to me that she turned up this morning. So <laughs> it was twice as funny because I was fast asleep and missed her call. And she was like, what is going on? Oh, okay, it's tomorrow. And it is. And I am so excited about being fully vaccinated that I have not only booked a pedicure for two weeks' time, I have booked a wonderful lady to come and clean my house. It is absolutely wild over here. Like the post-pandemic partying just is not going to stop. So today, I thought that we would talk about patterns and then we would look at some scores. And by patterns, I mean the prejudice voters have against patterns and the use of patterns in design homes. This topic is down to the fact that uh, Anthropology's home furnishing line has been added to design home. I, I'm not sure I've ever been so happy about something in my life. Like I understand that having children is great and everything, but have you seen this chair? Have you seen this chair? The entire line is incredible. Everything is so beautiful. And I, I can't resist. This filled the criteria for uh, animal print. And so I used it. And I posted it on the Design Home subreddit. Uh, to simply point out that it was going to score like shit, but I had zero regrets. And people, it sparked a conversation among people who wanted to complain about how much they love patterns and how much voters do not love patterns. And all of those things are true. However, I would just like to point out that you can continue to love patterns and use patterns and just know that you're not going to score very well. And that's fine. I do that all the time. I mean, I'm definitely, like, my score is currently a 4.61. I'm definitely not here for, like, the star value. I'm here to make rooms I really like. But I will just point out that sometimes voters do surprise you. And by sometimes, I mean not that often. But here is a five with a pattern chair. Ooh. Also a pattern sideboard. That, that, that practically counts as pattern mixing. And it got a five. And there were some others that were here pretty high up. Uh... Like, it's kind of hard to make my point with just one room. So I hope that's not what I'm trying to do here. This this is a pattern. Technically, this is a pattern. I did, however, get a room that was like crazy patterns quite recently. Okay, so I dug through some more and I found a couple of more examples of five-star rooms. So I think it's worth noting that voters love the Tommy Bahama patterns. Um, the Ottomans here. So we have the chaise. That's definitely patterned. And we have these Twin Palms Coconut Grove Ottomans also from Tommy Bahamas. These score really well as chairs as, uh, as well. And there is, like I love this, the Cypress Point Civil Glider Lounge Chair. So voters do like that. Or at least they did in this room. But like honestly, these Ottoman chairs, I do score fives with the, the chairs all the time. But here, this is super interesting when I tell you voters can surprise you. This, I mean, this practically counts 
as design home wild. This is like a design home orgy practically because the, we have a patterned rug, patterned ottomans, and patterned chairs. Rug, chair, ottomans, and it got a five. Like, I don't even know how that happened. Nobody was more surprised than me. I remember doing this maybe even on Game of Rugs and just being like, I love this room, but it's going to score like shit. So maybe the room that I just did that I also love that is orange and I'm sure will score like shit will surprise all of us and get a five. Is that likely? No. No, it is not. Could it happen? I mean, stranger things have happened. Stranger things have happened in my scores, so I'm never willing to eliminate anything. And there, there's that chair again. So, you know, design, design for your own joy, because voters do not have any taste. Speaking of taste, I would like a round of applause, please, because this is the month I've never spent so little in design home as I have this month and that is because I've hated hated all of the little limited editions this month until this week and because I had not spent any money on limited editions this month or spent very little or whatever I was still within budget okay um, I bought this $3.99 Cerulean Skies package and I have to tell you I have no regrets. I really, really liked it. And also, I really, really liked um, some of the rooms. Both of the rooms that I've put together using it. I love this room. Do I care that it's a bundle dump? No, I don't. Not at all. And also, this one. Also a bundle dump. Although, I used the hanging things from a different limited edition. So I am just a rebel. And this technically isn't a bundle dump. It's totally a bundle dump. Um, so we have that. And I really like that limited edition. And I'm so pleased to have it. I did not buy the other limited edition. The Desert Sienna. I get loads of people like that. And that's cool. C congratulations. You have a nice brownie topi limited edition and you hardly ever get them. I know that today's daily is set up to use that limited edition since I don't have it. Obviously I'm going to do the daily. Obviously because we all like free money and free diamonds but I'm, I'm not super psyched about it and I'm going to have to put some thought into it. Uh, and then I thought we might uh, look at my miserable scores just you know for fun. If nothing else, it's going to make you feel better about your scores. I got a five yesterday on this room. And that was a surprise. Because it's weird. And not limited edition themed. But cool. Um, we all know that fives that don't use limited edition items are a win in limited edition weeks. Uh continuing my love story with orange I just love orange I'm sorry and uh, this, this is my favorite rug to mix with these paintings and nobody else has to like it I don't care uh, this room took me like an hour to put together and I was okay with that because I really enjoyed it and uh, 4.59 is a perfectly res respectable score and also I have won this bench which is great except it looks like a centipede because I well I realize well I realize it is accurate that's way too many legs that's creepy okay serene and hot springs okay I guess I lied when I said I didn't buy any limited edition stuff before cerulean scries I didn't buy the rug at least um yeah, not not attractive, but I got a 4.77, so that's grand. Really like this bed. Glimmering Gala. Oh my god, 
I think this is an elite challenge and I had all these shares. So I just dumped them in, took my diamonds and like, we could just forget that this room happened. To be honest, they're all ugly. Even the fives, like the room is ugly. Like this is just hideous. It's so unattractive, this room. Even when you do the best possible job, it's like, do you know what it's like? It's like, um, it's like a mob hit if the victim was Barney. Just, oh, I loved this. This because I, like distinct, I had to do a Dublin room distinct in Dublin. I, they also, I remember looking at the outside of this house. I mean, I know the inside rooms they give us don't actually match the outsides but the outside was like a cottage with shutters and a blue door and never never has such a house been seen in all of Ireland also if it existed in Dublin it would be absolute minimum 695,000 euros um, so anyway this is my room it doesn't look very different from anybody else's except I again refused to buy the limited edition rug uh, nice roller skates I guess I think I just I really think I did this out of obligation I don't really care about that room gold beach decadence I did like this room I know it's very boring I'm a very boring person uh, I really liked the chandeliers and stuff <sighs> um, one of the reasons that I really liked the the um, sh this room was because the chandeliers remind me of Jewish Hotel Hell, where I spent some summers vacations as a kid. Um, like if you've seen Dirty Dancing, okay, that was a real thing. I swear to God. Um, so there is a part of my soul that likes this design aesthetic. Uh, having said that, Free Palestine. What else do we have? High sh Rise Chic. Okay. You absolute arseholes. I loved this room. I still love this room. My shitty score does not diminish my love for this room. I was thinking about putting the Red Duchess painting on the wall. And I didn't. I went for this instead. And I would like to, like, soothe my, my brain and my wounded pride into thinking that if I had used the Red Duchess painting, I would have scored better. And I just made a mistake on one element. Realistically, people don't... I mean, probably I didn't use the theme or... <sighs> All right. People don't like traditional furniture. Hmm. Okay, cool. Also, I keep forgetting that that painting exists and I need to go buy it. People did lots of... I mean, that's really nice and it uses that that limited edition rug was cool. And, and somebody managed to make those weird couches work for them. So good job. Good job, designer 115. You deserve your five. Very similar... I guess everybody was like, oh, hey, look, we can use these couches. Totally fair enough. These are all really nice. I have no complaints about any of these winners. These are all lovely rooms. This, too, was a lovely room, is my only point. It was very different than the winning rooms, though. So I guess that's not, it's not the aesthetic we were looking for on the judging panel this season. But thank you, and, and please join us again. Daring to Dream. Uh, the best thing about this room, the best thing about this room, is that I finally got rid of these Paris paintings. I hate them. I hate them so much. And I think I've had them since like level 13 or something. I've had them for so long, I've only ever used two of them, and I opened up this room and thought, oh my god, I can dump so much shit I hate, and I did, 
and I got a perfectly okay score and I won this thing from Anthra Living which obviously I love because I am a basic bitch and I, you know it's a good day it's a good day so on that happy note I'm going to wish all of you a good day if you enjoyed this episode of Game of Rugs please give it a thumbs up and if you would like to become a subscriber we would love to have you bye now <laughs>